September. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm on the Lowe's path. about this pack is that it is large and very lightweight only two pounds for the bag weight I mean you might think that's meaningless since I put 34 pounds <laughs> together there largely due to camera stuff sometimes when I'm hiking I think about all the people who have hiked before me and around the world and, and why and scenery is you know I'm sure high on everyone's list oh my wow it gets steep right here I see the cabin the RMC log cabin so I continue on nice to meet you log cabin so this is where the Lowe's Path and the Randolph Path cross. It's getting really hard now. Fighting with my mind to be positive. I guess I thought I'd be there by now. <laughs> 1.32 in the afternoon. I've been out here three and a half hours. I've traveled 4.31 miles and my altitude in the sky is 3999. It's like a rock wall to get up here. There you go. Quay Path, Gray Knob Cabin, 100 yards. This is a long 100 yards. How long is 100 yards? In this section, there's a, several little intertwining pathways. Bad news, I went the wrong way. I'm now part way up to Mount Adams. <laughs> I think I should have known that sort of, but I'm tired and I thought, but it's not very far back and then turn and then go over there. with the view. I wonder if I came up that ridge. Still have cell service. I've been able to text with my family the entire hike. I mean, when I feel like checking in. And... I've come across from the Grey Knob Cabin, um, and I'm just here to say that was highly difficult. <laughs> it looks like a really small line on the map, but it was very rocky. A lot of the rocks were unstable. I feel I should have taken the Randolph Path from way down, where it first veered off from Lowe's Path. And there are four platforms and then the lean-to. And that's, I thought I would be terrified up here. I mean, I could hardly sleep last night. I almost canceled myself the night before. And um, now that I'm here and put into my tent, and I actually was worried those people might be murderers, but they're not. It's good. It's good. It's, everything's okay. So I'm going to stay here. And, and my mood is improving. Yes, I haven't even eaten and my mood is improving. So it's only going to get better. All right, I have set up my tent and I blew up my high R value sleeping pad there, which will hopefully protect me from the cold. And this is my 
enlightened equipment quilt rated 10 degrees. I'm setting up and I'm getting excited to eat ramen. Even humans cannot open their canisters. Oh really? You need like a penny or something? Yep. showing um, off my mother's pot uh, from when she was a Girl Scout and I've cooked with this ever since I've started camping. Generations of people who have been here and such a continuum. Everyone was making ramen. The other female hiker here saw three bears today. Um, on the road when she was just starting the trail and I'm the only one with a bear canister no surprise because it's such a big bulky thing the others have either an ursac or some have like just a Dyneema bag or something they're gonna toss over a tree limb it is almost seven o'clock I think the caretaker might be here he's going around talking to people it is time to go in the woods to put my bear canister Yay, my bear canister was undisturbed in the night, and it's time for breakfast. I got a hiking buddy now. This is Silky. She has hiked the entire Appalachian Trail. <laughs> We so have run into it. one of our fellow campers yeah, from the perch and his okay. beautiful dog. Yeah. He came up the Randolph path and got here before us. And we're looking across way over there at the ridge and we see two other people from our camp, we think, going that way. How come they don't paint the rocks? You know, yellow blazes. I think it wears off so quickly. Oh, right. This hike is entering surreal territory now. So Silky here has done the AT and this gentleman would like to do the AT. And he watches all the YouTube this lady. They said this cairn signifies thunderstorm junction. It's still going, there's still another another one. More. <laughs> Good job, congratulations. Thank you for leading us. Awesome leadership. Awesome. Just looking Thank over you. at Madison. Uh, looking down north into the valley. She's down 
and her 48, that dog. I'm going this way, and that is Jefferson. I'm just coming around the curve of Israel Ridge Path. Way over there, I see tiny white signs from where I was yesterday. And I am on the Israel Ridge Path, this small little connector piece that links over to the perch. So I've been doing this. I've been tapping my poles together every so often. I must be quite close to the tent site. I'm back at the perch. <sighs> okay, I am all packed back to super heavy mode. And I'm leaving the perch. That's really good. Uh, definitely like to come again. Really fun. Just gonna try to go down. Finally, I'm on this Randolph Path. In this case, heading down towards Lowe's Path. And it's been quite a good trail. Not too, too steep. Although plenty of rocky spots where I had to sit down to get by the rock. There's views along the way more so than Lowe's path. I've just passed the intersection of Randolph and Lowe's. If I were to do it all over again, I would take Randolph to the perch. I should probably pick a destination in the forest and go straight there and not waste any time anywhere else. Because I can't handle it. Passing back by the log cabin. Continuing on the Lowe's path. I'm just so fully depleted. It's a forest, all right. A long, wide, big forest. Maybe I can just end this video right here. <laughs> Say, I'm tired. I did too much. I learned so much. And now all I need to do now is just get a little farther to the end to complete the journey.